Well, 11 years old, I started my first gang. Around 12 years old, I started doing drugs. When I was 15, I got kicked out of school. So that's where I ended up living in the streets. And somebody was gonna fall through the cracks. I ended up being the one that fell through the cracks. By the time I was 18, I was facing a six-year prison sentence. By then, I was already hooked on heroin. I had lost 25 friends. They ended up dying. They ended up becoming heroin addicts, or they ended up in prison. There's almost a part of me really wanted to die, but the, the, it wasn't in the cards. You know, the way things fell, I got shot at half a dozen times. I never got hit, including machine gun fire, point blank range. I went through all that and I survived it. So I was floating in this world of deep, intense experiences, but I was surviving it all. So the world kept saving me in many ways, and I didn't know it. Everything around me was dying. Until finally, I think, in my consciousness, I began to aware, I better think about something else now. Me being the weird homie with the books was important. Because when you read books, whole worlds open up to you, even though your world is so limited and you don't think there's no way out of it. But I had a world of books, which again, I didn't know anybody in my neighborhood that did. And everybody that I told thought I was crazy. Even my family. Oh man, you were in gangs, you were on drugs. Now you want to be a writer, forget it. You're lost now. That was like the worst thing I could ever want to be. But it was something so compelling to me. I don't know what it was to tell the story of what I knew and my homies that were dead and I wanted to write about this world. Not Rodriguez. It's an Indian mother's noiseless cry. A warrior's saliva on arrow tip. A jaguar's claw. A woman's enticing contour.